Now that you've learned how to give advice in the active voice, let's take a look at how to give advice in the passive voice. Hello, and welcome to another lesson on OET grammar. I'm Sharon, and it's great that you've joined me today. This lesson is brought to you by Benchmark Education Solutions, and you can find them on the web at edubenchmark.com. Today we're going to look at part two of how to give advice to your patients. In part one of this series, we talked about how to give advice in the active voice. Today, we are going to talk about how to give advice in the passive voice. If you haven't watched that first video, you really should watch it first because we discussed how to use the verbs advise, suggest, and recommend in sentences. The same rules apply when you use these three verbs in your passive sentences. But before we go any further, don't forget to click the subscribe button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any tips about how to pass your OET exam. In OET, you'll find that you need to give advice to your patient in the speaking subtest. However, in the writing subtest, you may find that you need to describe a piece of advice that you gave to someone in the past. You can choose to use the passive voice to communicate all these things. We use the passive voice when the action that is being done is more important than who did the action. You probably use the simple past tense because you will be talking about advice that you gave in the past. Let's look at some examples from sentences from part one of our video. These sentences are in the active voice and we're going to change them to passive. Remember that these sentences are active because the subject I is performing the action. Our original sentences were, I recommended that he return for a follow-up appointment. I advised him to return for a follow-up appointment. Let's look at two ways to change these sentences to the passive voice. First, you can insert a reference to the patient. If you do this, the word advised works better. The patient was advised to return for a follow-up appointment. Mr. Jones was advised to return for a follow-up appointment. The verbs recommended and suggested don't work when we talk about the patient. We can't say the patient was recommended to return for a follow-up appointment. That is not correct. Mr. Jones was suggested to return for a follow-up appointment. That is not correct either. You can also choose not to mention the patient at all. In this case, you would put your advice or recommendation at the beginning of the sentence to change it into a passive sentence. If you do it this way, the words advise and recommend can be interchanged. In our active original sentence, I recommended that he return for a follow-up appointment. I advised him to return for a follow-up appointment. Let's change it to passive. With your advice first, you would say, a follow-up appointment was recommended, or a follow-up appointment was advised. Did you notice that when we use the passive voice, we almost always use the verb to be in some form, along with the past participle of the verb we want to use, such as advised or recommended? Let's look at these examples of passive sentences. I was greeted by the receptionist. The package has been opened. The linens have been washed already. We will be paid soon. These are all passive sentences, and they all use the verb to be as a helping verb 
with a past participle. You will probably use the simple past tense in your OET writing and speaking. In the simple past tense, you will need to use the helping verb was if you are referring to one thing. Notice in the example, one thing, a follow-up appointment, was recommended. If you are talking about more than one thing, you will need to use the helping verb were. Look at this example. Rest and medication were advised. Now you try. Let me know if you should use the verb was or were in the following sentences. Here's the first one. Therapy and counseling were advised. We need to use were because we have two items that were being advised. What about the next one? Attentive monitoring was recommended. One thing, attentive monitoring. So we'll use the helping verb was. And this one? Paracetamol 500 milligrams was recommended for pain relief. One item, so we need the helping verb was. Here's another one. Rest, analgesia, and heat were recommended. We're recommending three things, so we need the plural helping verb were. Try this one too. Which word is more suitable here, advised or recommended? Mr. Zhang was advised to quit smoking. We need to use advised because we made a reference to the patient in the subject, Mr. Zhang. Try one last one. Exercise and a strict diet were advised or exercise and a strict diet were recommended. In this case, both advised and recommended are acceptable because we didn't talk about the patient. Good job. I hope today's lesson has helped you learn how to talk about advice that was given to a patient. Please tune in to our other YouTube videos and check out our website, edubenchmark.com. We have courses, articles, and services that will help you pass your OET exam. Be sure to contact us for help with your OET. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.